Hi everyone, Diogo Marques here. In today's video, I want to share a ninja mind trick with you. It's called closing by rejecting. How does this work? There are a certain number of situations that people will, they will convey, a, you, you will have a perception from them that they want you to please them. So, because they are, they are thinking like, this guy wants to come in. So, let's put this in a way that he has to please me. But this is a trick. Because the more you do it, the more they reject you. It's a, it's a dysfunction. It's like 100% dysfunctional MFs. Because if you look at their body language, and this is typical of analytical people, especially people that are like very self-conscious, they're, they're like very insecure, and you look at their body language, and they're, they're like a candle. A candle is like, this is called by body language experts, it's like they have le their legs like very close, and they, they like, because you, you will touch them and like fall over. Like the Superman stance, and I like legs stance like wide. They have a different stance, they're more, more powerful, more confident. These people, they're like super unconfident. They're like very self-conscious. They're like uh, holding themselves and on all that, but they are analytical. So when you encounter a situation like this and you understand that this is an analytical person, we covered the personality types. You can check the video in the, in the playlist. So when you understand that this is an analytical person and you see that they are insecure in the situation, but they have behind them a very large company and they're like accepting memberships and you're like the one that like wants to, to come in on board, they will throw this dysfunction at you. And this is something like very bizarre because they want you to please them. They put like the language in a way for you to please them for like when you are communicating, they want you to prove themselves to them. It's like, tell me why would we accept you? So this is a trick because the more he's like, because I'm this and this and I'm Superman and I fly and whatever, right? But the more you do it, the more they reject you. And this is very bizarre, but this is a dysfunction. So here's how you deal with this. You look at these people and you, if like their body language, if they're like coming close, right? You do the exact opposite. You stand back, like confident, but like co go back. You, you are showing that you're not interested. So this is how this works. You are showing that you are rejecting them. I know this sounds really bizarre. It's like ninja brainy thingy, but this works. And I'll, I'll show you how the thing will keep progressing. So if you see them in a way they're like, power, although they are candle-like, type of thing, so very self-conscious, but they like want to portray a way that because they have like this super powerful organization behind them, they want to portray that they are very powerful, but they are very being very insecure. But since they are analytical, they are seeing details. So when you see them saying something that is portraying power, meaning we have a membership of so-and-so-and-so, it's a very large, 300 years, like uh, big numbers and, and all that, you stand back, right? And this is the second part of it. You will reject this. And you will reject this in a way that makes them confused because you are there to be accepted. Right, let's let this one sink in for a while. Uh, let's wait. Well, waiting, waiting, wait, I don't have a watch. Waiting, waiting, well, I don't have a watch either here. So this is how you're doing things, it's like, Let's say they say something like, we scrutinize every single member that comes here. We need to know it's a perfect fit for this, uh, for this organization. And you say, I don't wanna be in a place that is very well scrutinized because I scrutinize people better. I reject most of the organizations that I talk to. And then they're like, hmm? But it, it, what? That's how they're brilliant. It's like but, but, it's not moving. It's like but, how? But, but. And since they are analytical, right? They are analyzing details. But now they are confused. And then you keep talking. And, say, and then you say, "I know what I want. I know exactly what I want to be, and I want to waste my time." And then they're like, "Now they are in a position that they are want. They are trying to please you." 
Does that make sense? This is very weird, but this is how this works. Now they are in a situation, they are confronted with a person that is rejecting them because, the, because they are used to people, like they want to come in, right? But now you are rejecting them. They had this initial perception of you like another one of those, like the same type of person, he wants to please, to come in, we reject everyone because we are the greatest, right? But now you're putting things in a perspective, they're like, he's actually rejecting us. Wait, we have to prove him, you need to belong with us. Because they are analytical in nature, right? you need to use that trick that I told you before. You watch it on, on one of the previous videos that we have here covering personality types. Look for the open-ended questions and the open logic. That's how you're going to like put the last nail in the coffin. Because you're going to ask him questions, but in a way that he needs to talk. Right? And I'll give you an example. So let's say you're talking. Wait, I need to scratch. Ah. Then you're talking. No, wait, second scratch. And then you say something like conveying a, a thought of, oh, the let me think about it. And this is typical of analytical people because they are insecure. They see you as a secure person. You know how to talk. You look them in the eye. You're showing, you're showing trust. You know how to talk to convey your message. And then they are confused with your ninja trick. Then probably the most likely they will say something like, I need to think about it. Or say something like, I'll contact you. Or I need to go over this. Something like that. And then you use the typical answer used for these types of situations. That it's like, directly it will be, what is it that you need to think about? But this is an indirect question. This is an indirect situation. He's not addressing you, telling you that he himself needs to think about it. It's like, we have a committee, we need to go over it, I need to talk with the unavailable party and all, and all that. And what you say is something like this. I'm just curious. You talk that you, you were very young when you entered this organization. You told that both of us were the same age, so I'm young as well. You told me that you were determined. As you can see, I'm determined as well. Just out of curiosity, do you like the idea? Does the idea make sense to you? And now you wait and you shut up completely like silent. And you will immediately talk because the idea excites them. What excites them, it's not you, it's the idea of them talking. Because analytical people, they, they see details. And now you are asking a blunt question that requires details. So they immediately start speaking. It's like mind boggling. And then you are essentially extracting what you were missing. And he was going to tell you exactly what the objection is, whatever it is. And the thing is, he's not fucking trusting you. That's the whole thing. But he's not fucking trusting you because he sees that you are a trustworthy person. But he doesn't trust himself. That's why he sees like this big disconnect. And this is why you use this rejection. Then you are, you are not showing them that you please let me in. It's the other way around. It's like them wanting you to accept them. So he is the one that needs to be please come into our organization. So this is what is called like accepting by rejecting. This is a weird mind trick, but it works. It's very effective and it's only used in a certain specific situation when you start feeling that whenever you say something like, like building your character, you'll feel them like start disconnecting. This is the first one. The second one is when you're looking at their body language, like let them talk like Disconnect from them, look at their feet, look at the way that they're holding themselves, like their body language, micro expressions. When you see that they are like showing lack of trust, then this is a typical case of that specific situation. And like to close the nail in this specific type of case is when they are analytical and you, you see signs of rudeness coming from them. This is a typical situation that they are dysfunctional. The way for you to solve this is not by using those typical objections, although they will come up at some point, but the main one, the main way to address uh, this specific situation is using accepting by rejection. We rejecting, which, mean, which means is that they need to prove themselves to you. This is how this works. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and click that bell button below so you can get notified every time that I make new videos like this. Peace.